Long time no see. October 24th, 2008. It's a Friday. I haven't been posting any video blogs in a long, long time. So, what better time than now, huh? What better time than now? So, here I am, posting a video blog just for you, just for you guys. So, big news in my life. Today is day number four that I have not smoked any cigarettes. That's right, I... I quit smoking this delicious, beautiful, amazing little tobacco sticks, and I'm I'm feeling good about it. Feeling real good. Um, was getting really kind of anxious for a while, but I decided to bring in some backups, so I started chewing Nicorette cinnamon sugar gum and. Surprisingly, it does the trick. I'm on my first piece right now, which I've been chewing for 20 minutes or so. Um, surprisingly tasty. It's pretty good. And instantly, you know, instantly I felt myself getting a little bit calmer. And I was surprised. I was like, wow, this stuff works quick. And uh, it's kind of weird. It's my uh, dad got this for me as a gift. He's like, son, I figured this help you out, make things easier, because he's, like, really excited about me quitting smoking, which I'm glad that he's really excited, because if he wasn't really excited about it, then I wouldn't be motivated, because now I'm really motivated, because if I relapse and start smoking cigarettes again, he's going to be really angry, because he just bought Nicorette gum for me, and this stuff isn't cheap, I'd imagine, but, um, anyway, doing that, pretty pumped about it. Um, so I'm back in Danville, Kentucky, for those of you that don't know, um, back at the parents' house. It's a fun time. Mom and Dad and I hang out on a daily basis. Um, going to school at Bluegrass Community Technical College in Danville. It's a very fancy, fancy place. Um, going to school there, um, that's about it. I got midterms. I just finished up midterms on a test, which I did pretty good on, um, not sure what my plans are for next semester. I know I'm going to be transferring somewhere, but I don't know where yet. Um, not sure. Looking at Lexington Healing Arts Academy. Maybe. I'm not sure. Not sure. Um, trying to keep myself busy, especially now that I've quit smoking because I'm full. Oh, so I've been doing a lot of crocheting and a lot of reading. Still working on On the Road by Jack Kerouac, which is amazing, and I highly suggest it to all of you. Actually, anything by Jack Kerouac. The, the Dharma Bums, read that a couple weeks ago. That's just an exquisite piece of literature, um, and such and such. So, I'm cleaning my room right now, and I kind of made this as a way of procrastination, but I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning, so... You can watch in Fast Forward. Yeah. 
that you do when I called? Did you hear me at all? That's a long night that says to have no end. There's big stars. cleaning I found some shirts that I can't fit into anymore because apparently I got too big for them somehow I don't even remember gaining weight but whatever they're too big for me so um if you would like one of these um leave me a comment down there or send me a message on here or a message on MySpace or something or another and if you live around here I can like meet up with you and give it to you and if you don't live around here you can I can give you my address and you can send me like five dollars or something and to cover the postage and I found this envelope while I was cleaning that's empty which means I was supposed to send somebody something and I didn't but I don't remember and so I'll use it to send money shirts to you and such um okay here's the first one it says it's really soft by the way um it says coke is it in Kentucky and it smells really good. It smells clean. I don't even know where I washed this last because it doesn't smell like my clothes here. But um, I don't know what size it is because it's really old and vintage. And so the tag's like decrepit. But it's like su a s really small. It's a really small size. Maybe like a youth large. But I would just go with really small. And that's that. And this one's my favorite. It used to be my favorite shirt ever. And it's also really old. And it's a youth large. And I thought I could fit it until when I was in Michigan. I was putting it on to go out one day. And Rachel looks at me and she's like, um, Jordan, that shirt's kind of like too small for you. I'm like, are you serious? Is it really too small? Yeah, it's too small. So, uh, gotta get rid of it. Because I can't wear it anymore and it's so amazing. I don't even want to look at it because it makes me sad that I can't wear it. So you should wear it because it's really cool. Um, here. I'm going to prepare it to show it to you. Um, okay. It is a sweet Boy Scouts of America shirt. Um, last time I wore it, this lady somewhere was like, Oh, you, you were in the Boy Scouts? I'm like, No. Um, I just like got it somewhere and she just like, gave me this really mean look like you're impersonating a boy scout and so you shouldn't be wearing that which may feel kind of funny but anyway boy scouts and if you wear the shirt you're automatically a bobcat and a wolf which is awesome um on the left sleeve you have this kentucky ottoman council 200 patch in a 50 which tribe 50 or family 50 or something and on the right patch you have your of course, American flag, and you're in Den 4. So if you want to be a Bobcat Wolf Den 4 Tribe 50, and if you are a small person, then you let me know, and we will get you into all of those roles. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, and thanks for obligating me to clean my room because I had to because I was taping it, and so I couldn't not clean it. 
and I hope you are having splendid days and that you're enjoying the super nice weather. And I will hopefully post a video sooner than later. Okay, bye.